Well, it is pretty easy these days to publish, publish your own restaurant review on a website. But at what point does a no-holds-barred critique of your dining experience cross the line? Well, joining us now with his views is the founder of dineout.co.nz, Chris Dempsey. Chris, good morning to you. Good morning. Your, your website's been around for quite a while now, dineout.co.nz, uh, basically uh, for people to review their own experience at dining at restaurants throughout the country. Yeah, dineout's been running for... Uh, 10 years next month, I believe, so we'll be maybe having a bit of a birthday celebration. Um, and it's open for, for everybody to, um, uh, to log in, to rate their uh, restaurants, places they've been to, things they, they really liked and, and places that they really didn't like and everything in between. So you have to log on, you have to be a member, for example, so there is, I guess, a little bit of a, a catch at the beginning in terms of you just can't get anyone randomly coming and writing something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To, to do a fully anonymous review, I think, would open it up to be... You know, a bit, a bit open slather, there'd be no controls over it whatsoever. So um, we have people who actually sign up and once they're uh, verified as a, as a, a potential human, then um, yeah, they can go ahead and, and do reviews. Yeah. The reason, one of the reasons we're talking to you this morning is that we had someone email us and say they, they wrote a glowing review for a restaurant they dined at and the review um, was up for a while and then it was taken off. So why was that the case? Uh, that particular review was actually a very glowing review and it was um, one of the many, many, many reviews of the one of the 38,000 reviews we have there which um, has been personally read by me because every single review placed gets viewed, gets checked for accuracy, make sure it isn't full of swear words or anything nasty. Um, and I was suspicious about it when I accepted it and I thought mm, it doesn't actually break any rules so I'll, I'll let this one actually go in. And uh, within a short time of being published uh, a lot of our members uh, voted against it and said that this is obviously a, a dodgy review, we don't like this review, this review doesn't represent the restaurant, doesn't represent the site, I mean, the, and so they voted against it. The author claims that he is in no way connected, um, she is in no way connected to the restaurant, but how do you find that balance, I mean how do you know which ones are, are genuine and which ones aren't? Well the, for the glowing review, I mean as soon as somebody comes in and, and marks a 10 out of 10 for everything, yeah it's a bit dodgy, yeah, it's, uh, for everything to be exceptional it would have to be a truly truly exceptional and there would have to be many other reviews of a similar ilk but it doesn't happen that often. Um, but uh, there's, there's clues like people who mention opening hours, people who mention uh, the phone numbers, uh, people who mention you know, bands that are coming up in the near future. These sorts of things all, all sort of say this, this wasn't written by just somebody who popped in for a meal. This was written by somebody who intimately knows the restaurant or the owner or somebody like that. I was a little bit connected. What you must do you get or what some people would suspect you get as well is people writing very bad reviews for, I guess, uh, com competitors. Uh, sometimes that does happen. Um, I mean, everyone's entitled to an opinion and, and there's no reason to say that uh, just because I own restaurant A I can't write a re uh, review for restaurant B that, you know, that I have actually been to. Um, but if it is uh, a false review then uh, they're challenged and they're taken offline straight away. Mm. Chris, thanks very much for joining us this morning. It's an interesting uh, topic. I know I've been to your website before. It's very good. And if you get the numbers, then I guess they all balance out in the end. Anyway, that is Chris Dempsey yep, from dineout.co.nz. Chris was very impressed with my personal <laughs> review of Home Brand Instant Coffee. I know he was particularly <laughs> impressed with that. Maybe I should start my own website.